morning, Katie, and we're going to talk about a project that is so incredibly cute, especially if you ladies who knit or crochet, and I have a lot of friends who do, so I'm mm. going to be tagging you on Facebook because <laughs> this is so stinking cute. <laughs> Tiffany's here, Cheney's here. It's called Little Hats, Big Hearts, and we're going to be talking about February, but we need to talk to you about it right now. Right. Tell us, okay, American Heart Association, LHC Group, tell us what this project is. It's so cute. Right. Well, we've been partnering with the American Heart Association for quite some time, and we're real passionate about improving the health and lives of those in Acadiana. And so I'm going to let Tiffany talk about the project. Okay. You know, a lot of times when people think about heart disease, they think of it as an old person's disease. Mm -hmm. um, what people don't think about is it's the number one birth defect in babies. Okay. So what we've done is um, we're looking for volunteers to knit little red hats that we can deliver to all babies born during the month of February. <laughs> at either Lafayette General, Iberia Medical Center, or Opelousas General. Okay. So that's around 400 hats that we need. Okay. <laughs> and we need them by the first week in January, so okay. we can get them cleaned and packaged and out to the hospitals in times for those babies born on the 1st of February. How sweet is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute is that? So if you knit, yes. or mm -hmm. you crochet, little bitty hats yes you, they'd obviously need the specs i would think correct huh? or you like can a pattern go to, or whatever yeah you can go to heart.org slash little hats big hearts we've got several patterns there that you can choose from there's also contact information for me so you can email me with any dates and deadlines and all that good stuff because mm -hmm. um, i know a lot of times we want to talk these things through right but um yeah so there's a wealth of knowledge there you can you know print them and make them out yourself oh that is so incredibly cute so they have to be red Yes. Okay. Yes. Red, my favorite color. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Uh, anyway, so if you knit or crochet, what a great project for you. Yes. And a little hat for those folks who are really well versed or, or know how to do it real well, that, that can't take very long for them to Correct. Do. I mean, I've talked to a couple people and they're all like, oh, I can have at least 25 hats mm -hmm. done in a month. So, you know, that's just doing it in their free time. Right. But that is yeah. so sweet. Nothing cuter than babies, nothing cuter than little hats on babies. Oh my and God. then, you know, like I said, it's the number one birth defect. So one out of 100 babies born, which is average is about 40,000 babies a year with heart disease. I mean, I, I know a few babies who were, uh, unfortunately, I know a, a couple of babies who, who lost their lives yeah. to, to birth defects uh, of the heart. And so, you know what, this is a great opportunity to draw, like you said, awareness to that. Mm -hmm. If you want to help, again, heart, it's heart.org okay. slash little hats, big hearts. All right, so if you can knit or crochet, I might learn to knit or crochet just so <laughs> I can do it too. Uh, please help them out and we'll put this information to at katc.com. Thank you so much Thank for you. doing this. What a Thank great you. project. Daniel, do you know somebody who knows how to knit or crochet? I know someone who does, but I myself do not. So Maybe we should to. learn. I would, then I could make my own suits, my own <laughs> knitted suits. Oh, I think gosh. that would be quite the fashion You, you would style. You would be styling in that. Well, you, you know, you've always it. got to be a trend setter instead of a trend follower. Well, so, uh, you, you, and Daniel, you, of all people, could rock that. Thank you. Thank you. I've got some knitted ties that I'll be bringing out this